Scarlett Johansson is suing Disney over Black Widow's streaming release. Wow. You go, girl. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor and breaking news, Scarlett Johansson. Wow, I'm in shock. Let's read this and learn about this together, shall we? Uh, Wall Street Journal just broke this news. She's uh, suing Disney over the latest Marvel release, uh, citing breach of contract. Oh my gosh, this is going to be very telling because, look, I've always been saying this release to go on Disney+, Plus. it makes no sense. They're throwing so much money away. And if they had just done a month exclusively in theaters first and then allowed people to get it on Disney+, Plus the next month, everyone would have at least gotten like the best of what they could get given the circumstances. But by putting it on Disney+, Plus and theaters, they completely cannibalized the release and didn't make nearly as much money. There's no repeat business. There's no buying it later. They just bought it. It's done. I have it. And it's going to be streaming. Why would I buy a theater ticket? Why would I buy the DVD? Why would I buy it streaming? Like, you have multiple ways to get revenue in a film. And Disney decided, you know what? No, we'll just put it on Disney+. Plus. It also makes it easy to pirate. So ticket sales dropped so badly on its week two and then week three. I really am shocked that they didn't just pay her off to avoid this breach of contract. So let's let's read this article breaking in from uh, Wall Street Journal to figure out what's happening. All right, so uh, star of the movie is alleging her contract was breached when the media giant released the film on Disney Plus the same time its theatrical debut. Miss Johansson said in suit that her agreement with Disney's Marvel Entertainment guaranteed an exclusive theatrical release and her salary was based in large part on the box office performance. Disney intentionally induced Marvel's breach of the agreement without justification in order to prevent Ms. Johansson, Mrs. Johansson from re re uh, realizing the full benefit of her bargain with Marvel. Ouch! So she, dude, my, <laughs> the first female-led movie and Marvel's trying to be cheap? Oh my God, this is huge. The fact that she's doing this, I mean, she's done with Marvel. She's, they killed her off, she's out, and now she's basically admitting to the world, yeah, they made a deal and they're trying to renege on the deal and they're not paying me. This is this is so bad for Disney. Disney couldn't be reached for comment. Uh, good for her going. She probably did this uh, on, like just on the fly to sort of surprise them and get this attention because I wouldn't be shocked if they don't try to settle this immediately with a sick amount of money for her. But the fact that she couldn't do that privately is very interesting. So here we go. Suit could be a bellwether for the entire entertainment industry. Major media companies are prioritizing their streaming services in pursuit of growth and are increasingly putting their high-value content on these platforms. Those changes have significant financial implications for actors and producers who want to ensure the growth and streaming doesn't come at their expense, which it is. Uh, this will surely not be the last case where Hollywood talent stands up to Disney and makes it clear that whatever the company may pretend, it has a legal obligation to honor its contracts. An attorney representative. Uh, Represents Mr. Hansen. Disney began releasing the movie simultaneous. We know all this. Uh, AT&T has been doing with HBO Max. Warner Media chose to renegotiate many of its talent contracts uh, that, like Ms. Johansson's deal with Marvel, were tied to box office performance. Warner Brothers paid more than $200 million to talent as part of the amended agreements. I, I heard Gal Gadot, Patty Jenkins, they got paid a fortune uh, to allow them to go put it to HBO Max, Wonder Woman 2. Ms. Johansson has been an integral part of the Marvel Universe since Iron Man 2. Her presence has grown significantly since member of the, becoming a member of the squad of Avengers. Our character, spoiler, dies in Avengers game uh, and the spinoff film now takes place in events before that movie according to the complaint miss johansson's representatives sought to renegotiate her contract after learning of the dual release strategy uh, which she has said in her ninth is her is her ninth and last marvel movie uh, they were unresponsive the suit said jeez wow that's that is guys this is uh she's she's making an attack against them She's made this now public. She's saying Disney isn't paying her. And she's the star. She's their female lead of this franchise that we all love and respect. And Disney's not paying her? That's, I'm flabbergasted. I mean, I'm not surprised by Disney. Disney does a lot of shady and stupid things. But my God, what a stupid move to let her be able to attack you like this publicly. Decision to put the movie is now protected to cost Mr. Hansen more than $50 million. What? Just pay her. Just pay her $50 million. Person familiar with details of her contract claimed uh, they can't pay her 50 because the movie hasn't even made back its money yet. This movie has been such a failure given its release pattern. And because the, I really just don't think the movie was ever going to perform that strong. This was a, a chat. And I don't say that as a disrespect to the character. I like Black Widow. It's just this movie was too late. 
This was Marvel and Disney trying to save face, say, hey, yeah, we love our female superheroes. We know female superhero leading movies are in right now. So, hey, yeah, we got a Black Widow movie. Of course we do. Uh, by the way, it's part five, chapter, uh, it's in between chapter five and six of the stories we're already told. Because it's really important, guys. <laughs> Oh, Disney, you're such hypocrites. Uh, Mr. Anson was concerned even before the pandemic that Black Widow could end up on Disney+. Plus. Uh, representatives reached out to Marvel seeking assurance that it would have a theatrical-only release. Uh, the fact that they never told her is awful. In March 2019, email included in the suit, uh, Marvel chief counsel said the release would be according to a traditional theatrical model. We understood that should the plan change, we would need to discuss this with you and come to an understanding as the deal is based on a series of very large box office bonuses. And they didn't. During its July 9th opening, it grossed 80 million at the domestic and 78 million overseas, generated another 60 million in $30 at home uh, price purchases. Adding that all together, this is not good enough, guys. This movie cost 200 million. Um, it's the first time Disney broke out streaming performance details. Um, Disney shares ticked upwards on the news that Monday because they were tricking everybody. They were making it look like it was a big hit, but the reality was that was not a big hit. That's a one-time bonus number that you just got, and then it's done. They're not coming in for $40 million the next weekend. That's your highest number you're going to get, and then it's going to start going down. The movie's theatrical performance fell in its subsequent, uh, sub subsequent days more than sharply than most Marvel movies. Some analysis and executives questioned whether making the movie easy to watch at home was hurting. It was. Absolutely. Piracy, everything else hurt it. Absolutely. Plus, there was no repeat business at theaters. I bet you a lot of people did go to the theaters to see that movie, but typically they would go watch the movie three times in theaters, and then they'd watch it again on streaming. That's why windowing is so important. There's still a value to having Black Widow exclusively on Disney Plus. But these studios are so like trying to beat Netflix and be like, we gotta be up, we gotta they don't understand, like, no, it's still good to have like the library of titles at home that we can watch later and still allow us to watch it if we want to watch it first in the theatrical experience. It's a whole way to make a buttload of money and then make more money later to have that exclusivity. Um but yeah, it felt, it felt, it was, uh, exhibitors called the performance disappointing. Uh, in fact, a lot of theaters, IMAX, et cetera, they're all very mad at Disney for what they're doing. It's now about to happen this weekend with Jungle Cruise, which is a shame. The Rock should also sue. Emily Blunt should sue. That movie is fun. It's a really fun family film for theaters. I had some problems with the last act and all, but overall, my family had a, had a blast with it. And it's a perfect sort of high, big budget Disney, uh, you know, movie. And they're, and they're not going to do as well because families buy five tickets in the theaters four or five tickets, popcorn, etc. And now they're just going to spend $30, which is cheaper than all those tickets, at Disney Plus to watch it in the, the luxury of their homes. It, it, this $30 business model makes no sense to do the same day it's in theatrical. They're shooting the theatrical window in the foot. Um, and so it, is, it has hurt it. And this is now, we even have more hurt with the talent saying, no, we're not okay with this. Uh, God, Google's so scary. Look at that. Google putting the hat I own. <laughs> right there that freaks you out speaking of which how about we place an ad here <laughs> did you get one thank you support this channel if you haven't already supported this channel hit that subscribe button for more breaking news like this hollywood takes i love calling out the hypocrisy and the outrage in hollywood and in pop culture so we try to do here on popcorn planet so thanks to all of you who've been watching staying tuned all right but back to the story uh the movie in turn activates a cycle of revenue from toy sales theme park attractions as the franchise has grown it's become a magnet for big stars who sign up to portray and get obviously get all these bonuses uh all right well there we go there's no other uh um lines from there but man, this is this is telling the fact that she's out there admitting that her reps were on top of this for a while, saying we need to make sure this is theatrical because I, we get all our bonuses. And they were saying, yeah, 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 yeah. And then at the last at the end of the at the end of the line, they decided to just do it without calling her back or calling her agents back. Like, <laughs> what did they think was going to happen? Oh, she'll just be a company girl and play along. I mean, I, I, I really look forward to Disney's response here. I mean, if, if, if now if Scarlett's lying and then Disney's going to come back and be like, well, we offered her blah, 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 blah. And she, I'm, I'm fascinated to follow how this one goes because you would think Scarlett Johansson would be careful about this because, you know, this is a big move. It's a big move that studios are going to keep an eye on and, they're, and she's now going to be the poster child for, for actor stepping up against big studio to say, hey, give me the payday. And honestly, Scarlett Johansson, good, bravo. Because honestly, you earned this. This movie was a long time coming. Robert Downey Jr., all these Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, I'm sure Chris Pratt have all gotten massive 
Huge, big mo Marvel bonuses and paydays for all the work they've done in this franchise. And here you have your movie finally on deck. And then obviously, so, you know, pandemic happens. It sucks. It definitely is going to hurt things. But then Disney goes and makes it even worse by then not giving you a piece of the at-home revenue. That's deplor That's despicable. <laughs> Disney, what are you doing? I mean, this is, this is so shady. I know Disney's probably taken a little bit of a hit this year with everything uh, without having to release all their films. I, I hear it, but they got so much damn money, I don't feel too bad. Uh, and uh, you got to pay your talent. That was part of the deal. And if you can't, you're not going to do it. I mean, you got to wait then, right? You got to wait for it to be able to go theatrically to make sure she's done. Or hell, pay her the $50 million that she clearly was supposed to make. That's what it cost. They paid, I think, Gal Gadot 20 I think they each, was it $20 million each of them? I think. Um, I'm shocked they didn't just go to her and be like, look, we'll give you $25 million, uh, as a bonus. Uh, you know, we don't sure what else to do. Um, if we, and, and you'll still, you'll, we'll give you this percentage of revenue if, if we hit there. Uh, it, it, after, after the $25 million, there were probably ways to like give her an upfront bonus that if, and if they hit beyond it, give her more. There's so many ways to do that creatively where she can still feel like she was taken care of, that she was part of the Marvel family, which she is. And they're going to disrespect her like this? This is nuts. So I can't believe Disney let this happen to get this kind of bad press because I'm totally team Scarlet on this. It seems like a lot of people might be go, Oh, whatever. You plenty of money already. No, 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 no. She earned this. She worked her butt off to get to this point to finally have a feature length black widow movie. And they're going to nickel and dime her over it. Disney boo, boo, Disney hashtag pay scar Joe. Let's get it. Trending pay scar Joe. Uh, Disney. What do you guys think? Uh, I want to hear your thoughts on this. This is crazy. Uh, again, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do. Better yet, if you can, hit the join. I got a lot more members-only exclusive content coming. In fact, I'm going to be posting some more members-only videos, some hot topics that I don't really want to be public, but that you're going to want to hear the insight on. So stay tuned. Lots more coming here on Popcorn Planet. And again, remember, hashtag pay ScarJo. Uh, you can also check out these videos as well. Lots more Britney coverage coming too. And we'll be live tonight, 9 p.m. We'll be talking about this and a lot more. So in fact, check that link down there on the left live tonight, nine hit the remind me.